what is up my name is Alexis and today I'm taking you to go grocery shopping with me I know so exciting oh my gosh oh my gosh so I am a vegan and I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about veganism and aren't really sure how to go grocery shopping for it and what's you know good for you and what's not so I figured I'd make this little video so that I can help you guys out and you can see what I eat now I have already made a run to Costco but even though Costco has stepped up their game for vegan stuff still don't have everything so I'm going to hit up new seasons my fave and do the rest of my grocery shopping and I will be taking you guys in the store with me to get the full experience so yeah let's go grocery shopping what are we waiting for oh my gosh can you tell I get excited about food you know I heard somebody say the other day that they have no emotional connection to food and I just I just can't relate to that but yeah let's go So, as you can see, we just got to New Seasons, and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be talking during this because I'm going to be wearing a mask, but before we go in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Join the family. As you can see, I made it home safely, and now I have all of these amazing groceries to share with you. Let's start with beverages. Normally, I get the Synergy Kombucha, but because these guys were on sale, I decided to give it a try. Um, so I got the watermelon hibiscus green tea from, um, from Brew Doctor, and then I also got Brew Doctor's um, love wins which I thought it was super cute because it's the pride edition and you know I'm always down to support the gay community so we got these two and I think these were actually on sale for like a dollar ninety or a dollar seventy five or something like that so it's really cheap for a kombucha so I'm gonna give it a try see how it tastes <laughs> and then I also got this other brand, I think this is actually the same brand as the Synergy, it's just like a different line within it. Um, so it's Living GTS Foods, and it says Pu-re Root. I really don't know how to say that. It's like P-U-E-R-H Root. But it looked really interesting, and I've never tried it before, but it has reishi in it, so I know it's good for you, mushrooms are great for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this a try, and I think this is only $2.99, I think, so it's still on the cheaper side for kombucha. Okay, and in Costco, I love Costco, they have this uh, three pack of the Silk Organic Almond Milk, which is a steal. I think it's mm, under 10 bucks or around 10 bucks, but it's a really, really great option um, for alternative milk, so, um, yeah, I am thankful for Costco because I'm always stocked on almond milk. Also from Costco, I ended up getting these fresh medjool dates. Dates, dates. I know a lot of people use these in their smoothies and smoothie bowls and stuff like that, but I actually just eat them raw in the morning um, or before a workout or after a work workout or whatever. Um, but it has a lot of potassium in it and it's really good for energy. So, yeah. I get these puppies from Costco. I don't remember how much this costs, but I really don't think that it costs that much money for the amount of dates that are in here. Another great find I found at Costco was these celery sticks. They're organic as well. I get everything organic because we don't need no GMO. We don't need no GMO. We don't need no GMO. GMO has got to go. Boom. 
So yeah, so I got these celery sticks and I actually, funny story, I hate celery, but I have been drinking celery juice every morning for health benefits. Um, if you guys wanna know about that, I can do a separate video on it. But yeah, I've been doing celery juice every morning and it's, this is like a really great option to have around because I don't have to like pick off the leaves and stuff which actually makes your celery juice really bitter. So yeah, it's like pre-packaged, cleansed, already ready to go and it's organic so you can't lose there. I got this big pack of salad because us vegans, we love our salad. Yeah, I also got this from uh, Costco and it was pretty cheap too. I think it was like five, six dollars for this big thing, which I think actually now that I think about it is pretty comparable to the store. Yeah, so I'm gonna have lots of salad for the upcoming days. Costco also stepped up their game a bit. They've been carrying a lot of different vegan meat alternatives, so plant-based alternatives. And this is actually the Beyond Burger and I think it came in a six pack for like under 20 bucks, which is crazy because I think the actual, um, just the, the two pack is around 10 bucks. So you're totally getting uh, your money's worth with this. But I love the Beyond Meat. It's amazing. It tastes just like a burger if you haven't tried it before. Yeah, I, I honestly love getting these out for my non-vegan friends and family to try because they literally can't taste the difference and it's just amazing. And I'm really, really thankful that Costco has been providing this um, for its customers, so yeah. This is also from Costco. I have to be careful because I already opened this and started smashing them. But uh, this is a whole box of organic um, dark cherries, which is a little guilty pleasure of mine. So I'm really happy that I was able to find these. Cherries are pretty expensive uh, normally, but I think I got a pretty good deal for this. Um, I don't remember the exact price, but I'm very conscious when I am choosing what to buy from the grocery store as far as uh, financials go. So I definitely know that I got a good deal on this if I got it, but I'm so happy. As you can tell, I already have a bit, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get into all the rest of the stuff from New Seasons. I'm gonna go in and just show you all the produce that I got because I feel like it'd be easier if I just did that first. So I got some bananas, also organic, very important. Some organic cucumbers, and these are super big. And I usually use these for um, juices or salads and stuff. So, or even just in my water to give it a nice like fresh taste, a little extra little bit of something, you know? I actually forgot that I got these um, frozen broccoli florets, also organic, from Costco, and it came in a pack of four like this, which was good because TikTok has ruined me for kale and broccoli and um, leafy anything because I saw this dang TikTok and there was just bugs everywhere all over it, even when you clean it. And I tried really hard to just get the regular broccoli and clean it, but it was literally impossible to get all the bugs off. So um, I haven't been eating broccoli or kale for a hot minute, but this is great because it's already clean. You can actually microwave this if you want, but I think the microwave is the devil. So <laughs> I actually just steam this and it comes out great. I got two avocados and I actually really love avoc avocados. <laughs> avocados for um for salads for avocado toast you know fun stuff like that or on top of like um a dish and i actually use these for my hair too i would have gotten more but none of them were actually ready to like ripe and like ready to eat right now and i find that if i buy a lot of avocados that aren't ready at the time um i end up wasting it because they all end up being ripe at the same time. I got some vine tomatoes, which I think tastes way better than any other tomato. If you have another opinion, whatever, do you, it's your life. I just find that they have more flavor. I love the texture of them. I got a bunch of ginger. I don't know if you can tell in there, but I use this in my celery juice every morning too, to help with bloating. And I think there's a bunch of other health benefits, but I can't think of a, off of the top of my head right now. I love ginger. Um, you can actually cook with this too, which is really cool. Um, it's really spicy, so it kind of gives like a different flavor to dishes or to my juice in the morning. Kind of offsets the, the flavor of a celery because you know I don't, I don't really like celery, but 
you know, we getting through it, we getting through it. I also got three limes and these I use for cooking mostly because I do a lot of like Spanish food. I really love the flavor of lime, especially on like vegetables. I got three lemons and I use lemons for lemon water for my juices also sometimes. I got some green beans. This is enough for probably just one meal, but I tend to waste a lot of food if I buy it in bulk because I just don't get to it in time. So I like to, you know, get a meal's worth or two meals worth so I know that I will actually eat it and not waste any food because we don't like to be wasteful. <laughs> There's people out here not eating at all, so we don't wanna be wasteful. And so yeah, that's why I buy so, uh, smaller amounts of things. I also got some portobello mushrooms here. I know mushrooms are really good for you and I have cooked with them a little bit, but I think I'm gonna actually try to make uh, portobello steaks with these. Wish me luck. I got some sweet potatoes. I'm really excited to make some sweet potato fries or even just bake one and just have a mashed sweet potato. So, so, so good. And they're so good for you. A lot of vitamin A and I think C too. So yeah, I got three orange peppers. And personally, I think orange peppers are the best tasting peppers. They're a little bit sweeter than the other peppers. And yeah, I just, I really enjoy the flavor of them. Okay. <laughs> I actually hate onions more than anything else in life. I don't care if it's a green onion, I don't care if it's a yellow onion, I don't care if it's a red onion. I can't eat it, I just, I can't eat it. I have always been like that ever since I was a kid, but I have grown to love the flavor of onion in certain dishes, but I will cook with it and then throw it away or give it to the other people that actually like onions that I'm cooking for, but yeah. You won't catch me eating an actual onion, ever. But I like the flavor of it, so I got this for cooking. I got some serranos to give a little, you know, pep, a little spice in some dishes. Also, um, I like making tofu with this or throwing it in like a veggie stir fry to give it a little bit of like, you know, little, little spice, little kick. Ooh, we're almost running out of stuff here. I got some green apples. Um, I really love Honeycrisp apples and I like pink ladies, but I've been having a moment with green apples and sometimes I actually juice these too, so yeah. And that's gonna do it for the produce. I know that was really long, that was a lot. Most of the time when I go grocery shopping, most of the food that I get is gonna be vegetables and fruits. It just kinda happens that way, you know, because I'm vegan and I like to have a variety of things. I got these garbanzo beans, chickpea beans. I don't think there's a difference there, but I use these for this really, really yummy chickpea tuna. But it's really, really, really good. If you want me to show you how to make that, I can totally do that for you. But it tastes just like tuna. It's super, super, super good. It has a really great texture to it, and it's really good for you. And garbanzo beans are actually packed with protein. I got some gluten-free brown rice pasta because yes, I'm bougie like that. I don't really be eating regular pasta and I'll do whole wheat sometimes, but I really just love the brown rice and I never feel guilty for eating it because it's a complex carb and it's gonna be used the right way in my body. I also got some cereal and this is literally the best like health-wise cereal that you can ever get because it's going to be sprouted, it has flax seeds in it, um, everything in it is sprouted, which is amazing. And if you don't know the importance of a sprouted grain, it is actually going to be way easier for your body to absorb the nutrients from it. Um, and it's a lot easier on your digestion. So yeah, I really love this cereal. It is amazing. I swear there was a point in my life where I was like only eating this and raw meals and stuff, and I was getting thick. I mean, I'm talking thick. I was calling in thick, you feel me, sis? So I almost forgot about these golden nuggets, and these are also from Costco. They had this vegan ranch, and I've never, ever, ever seen this there before, but I was super excited, and I had to snag it. And then there was this sprouted, rolled oats, some oatmeal, and you know your girl loves some oatmeal, but I was so excited when I saw that it was sprouted. I wanna say it was like, eight or nine dollars, which is a freaking steal for how large this is. Um, but yeah, I almost forgot about that, so I had to bring it out real quick. Another thing I got were these frozen waffles, but they're made out of power grains, millet, 
oats, brown rice, and whole wheat. So all complex carbs, all gonna do great things for your body. And if I'm on the go or something, I'll just pop them in the microwave real quick and throw some almond butter or something on it. Fire, I'm talking real fire. So yeah, got those too. I also got these whole wheat tortillas. I love these for a quick meal. You can make like a wrap or a burrito or a quesadilla. It's just, the possibilities are endless, oh my gosh. Got some extra firm tofu. If you are new to the tofu gang, do not just get some regular little whatever tofu because you're not gonna like it and you're gonna be disappointed and then you're forever gonna say, I hate tofu, oh my gosh. It was the worst thing, it tasted like nothing and you know, it's mushy. I don't eat mushy tofu, I just, it's gross. Um, so I get the extra firm, which is what you need to get if you're gonna get some tofu. It's also um, higher in protein. You can literally make tofu taste like anything. So if you've had bad tasting tofu, it's probably because it wasn't seasoned right. If you think about it from a meat perspective, any meat that you ever make, if you just made it with no seasoning, it would taste like crap. It wouldn't taste good. You wouldn't like it. It's the same thing with tofu. And tofu is really cool because it literally takes on the flavor of whatever you make it with. It's super, super diverse and I love it. You should give it a try if you haven't. And if you have and you didn't like it, you should probably give it another try because I'm sure that I can teach you to make it better. This is one of my favorite meat replacements and it is the Beyond Meat Sausage. And I always get the hot Italian because I like spice, you know, because it was spicy. It literally tastes so good. It's super, super easy to make. You literally just heat it up in a saucepan. And yeah, it tastes like a sausage. It has the texture of a sausage, but without the guilt. And it just, it's just amazing. So I got two packages of that. It's got, let's see. 14 grams of protein per serving. Not bad, not bad. And only seven grams of carbs, so I think it's pretty comparable to meat. Okay, last but not least, let's get into the snacks. I got two of these Laura bars. This is my favorite flavor, it's the mint chip brownie. And these are awesome because it's only made out of six ingredients. It's hard sometimes because when you look at the ingredients of things, like, most of the stuff you can't even pronounce, so you don't know what you're actually putting in your body. So I really like how they keep it really simple, and it literally tastes like a, a candy bar. Like, so, so, so good. Ooh. Okay, this is also like a candy bar. It literally tastes like a, like a take five or something. It's a chocolate bar, but it has protein in it, and it's vegan and it has little pretzels in it, it's a chocolate pretzel one, and it's got this like sea salt on the top of it. It is so freaking good, and it's by Nugo. It's called Nugo Dark. I really recommend these, they're so, so, so good. All right, lastly, we've got this silk yogurt. Um, they were pretty much sold out of all the flavors of this, except for blueberry and peach mango, which I got. Um, I normally would get the vanilla one, which is my favorite, but since they were out, this was my second favorite, which is the peach mango. They have six grams of protein, which is pretty, you know, decent for, um, just a little yogurt. It's made out of, uh, almond milk. So, yeah. <gasps> no, it's not. I thought it was. It's made out of soy, you know? That's fine. I'm cool with soy. You know, tofu, soy, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with all that. They have a really nice texture. A lot of the vegan yogurts I've tried have like a, a really like artificial taste to them or they're kind of like a, a tangy taste and it just doesn't really sit right with my taste buds. But this is really creamy, really yummy. It's not overly sweet. So yeah, I would recommend these. Cost. I did wanna talk about cost of uh, everything that I got. Um, I spent about $140 at New Seasons, and I think all the stuff I got at Costco was, I think, close to like $60. So altogether, it's about 200 bucks, which isn't that bad for a grocery trip. And usually this lasts me for at least two weeks. 
I would say two and a half weeks. Okay, that is it, you guys. I hope this was informational. I hope you guys liked coming along with me onto my grocery trip. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to do videos like this. I think I'm going to actually make some videos about some recipes that I make regularly so I can share my veganism with you guys and make sure that you have a flavorful time in the vegan world. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'm gonna go make some dinner now. So, peace, love, and hair grease. See you in the next one.